Hello everyone. My name is Victoria and I'm a primary school teacher and circus performer here in Northern Ireland. My spiky little pal, Humph and I, are very excited to be with you and with our friends at Strand Art Centre today. Christmas is our favourite time of year. Humph loves all of his sparkly decorations. He has his very own special Christmas hat, which he wears without making too much fuss. And last year, he even got to go and see Santa Claus. This year, things are a little quieter, so we've been spending some more time at home watching Christmas movies. We know that you all love movies too, so today we want to share with you some of our very favourite Christmas movie themed things to make and do. You will have most of the things that you need for today's activities at home already. But if there's anything that you're missing, you'll be able to easily pick it up in the local shops. We're going to show you the simplest activities first. The final activity is a little trickier and a little more messy, so you might want to get a grown up to help out. Let's get started. Our first activity is based on the movie Frozen, in which Queen Elsa can use her magical powers to control water and ice. In the movie, she makes some incredible icy sculptures, and today you're going to be making some too. For this activity, you will need some water, some shallow dishes, tubs or lids, string, wool or ribbon, and some sparkly bits and pieces. Pour the water into the shallow dishes or lids. Next, add some sequins, glitter, or whatever sparkly bits and pieces you would like. Add some string, wool or ribbon and place in the freezer. Check them every 15 minutes or so until they are frozen solid. Once the decorations are frozen solid, use the string to carefully remove them from the tubs or lid. Hemph and I think that these look just beautiful. You can use the same technique to create sculptures of Elsa's frozen hands. Get a rubber or plastic glove and fill with water. Then fasten carefully with an elastic band. Once again, place in the freezer. This will take a little longer to freeze than the decorations did. Once frozen solid, carefully peel off the glove, revealing a sculpture of Elsa's frozen hand. You can use your imagination to be really creative with this activity, perhaps adding Elsa's frozen key, some glitter, or anything else that you can think of. When you've created your beautiful frozen decorations, you can hang them outdoors. If it's an icy day, they'll last for a long time. If it's a sunny day, they will melt away before your very eyes. You can use Elsa's frozen hand to prank a friend or family member, or perhaps do some science investigations. How will you melt it quickly? Will you pour on some salt or set it close to your radiator? Whatever you do, have fun. Our next activity is based on the classic Christmas film, The Snowman, which was on television every year when I was growing up. In this activity, you will use the power of static electricity to create your own magic dancing snowman. Let's see how it works. For this activity, you will need a balloon, pencil and colours, scissors and some paper. To create your static electricity dancing snowman, you'll need to colour and cut out a snowman on a plain piece of white paper. Next, you're going to rub a blown up balloon on your own hair or somebody else's for 10 seconds or more. Keep the balloon away from any sharp objects as things could go terribly wrong. Then bring it close to your snowman and see what happens.
little practice. You can make the snowman rise, float or even dance. The science behind this activity is when you rub the balloon in your hair, the surface becomes covered in invisible electrons with a negative charge, which are strong enough to lift this object with positive electrons. You can make a few snowmen and have your very own dancing snowman party, just like the movie. Our next activity is based on Santa Claus the movie. Santa is a firm Christmas favourite as he travels the world, visiting children and spreading joy. Every kid dreams of seeing Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. And in this activity, you'll be creating your very own Santa spotters with just a few simple materials. For this activity, you will need a kitchen roll or toilet roll tubes, scissors, sellotape, cotton wool, and if you wish, some sparkly bits and pieces to decorate the Santa spotters with. Take two tubes and either color them in red or wrap them in red paper so that they look just like this. Then stick the two tubes together with sellotape or glue. When you've joined the two tubes together to make the Santa spotters, it's time to decorate. I've added some cotton wool, which looks really Christmassy, and some stickers too. Be sure to test out your Santa spotters so you're all ready for Christmas Eve. Our final activity is based on my very favourite Christmas movie, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. In this movie, the Who's, who live in Whoville, like Christmas a lot, but the Grinch, who lives just north of Whoville, definitely does not. In this activity, you're going to create your own exploding Christmas baubles. Don't worry, they're not dangerous, just a little messy. And I think that these would make even the Grinchiest character smile. For this activity, you will need bicarbonate of soda and vinegar from the shop, a post-it note or small piece of paper, and an old Christmas bauble. Christmas baubles that are see-through and those which have a wide opening work particularly well. Adding some food dye to your vinegar can make your explosion even more exciting, but it's not essential. Now to create the exploding bauble. In order to get the bicarbonate of soda into the bauble, I recommend making a small funnel from a post-it note. This next part can be messy, so be sure to put down a tray or plate before beginning to pour the vinegar. Observe closely as a chemical reaction occurs between the vinegar and bicarbonate of soda, creating carbon dioxide bubbles. You've reached the end of our Christmas movie themed Things to Make and Do workshop. When you have a go at the activities, please be sure to tag us at Strand Art Centre as we would love to see what you get up to. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Strand Art Centre for having us as always. Everyone keep smiling. Eyes to the skies on Christmas Eve with your very own Santa spotters. Have a wonderful Christmas and we will see you soon.